Slack attack. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back, and let's walk through some more Skyrim. And this is Sabrina. Say hello, Sabrina. Hello, Sabrina. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let us go up to the Lord Stone and get a little bit of extra armor happening. This is something that we've been uh, wanting to do for a while. We are here in Morthal to get up to the Lord Stone. Typically, we will go to Dawnstar, but we've already gotten halfway there. Lord Stone is at the top of this mountain here, so let's go to the Hall of the Vigilant. And we got Belrand in tow. Belrand! Our new kick butt follower. He was so polite. Aren't you, Belrand? May the gods watch over your battle. <laughs> I just love this guy. <laughs> okay, now Belrand is. Nah, just kidding. Is, um. Has this. This new ebony war axe that can trap souls. So, all we have to do is give him some soul gems, and whenever um, we're not able to trap a soul because we're not, you know, quick enough with our own magic, he will do it for us. There's only one thing. There's a glitch with followers. If you give, say, let's say I give him all the, all ten of these petty soul gems, okay? The next time he traps a petty soul, he'll actually fill them all up. Wow, great. No, it's an exploit. It's an exploit. I don't want to take advantage. Take advantage of that exploit. Um, I read about this exploit in my ebook extensively. I even create a whole build um, at the end of my ebook called the Eager Eddie Exploit Build, and I use that exploit. Um, but I don't want to use that exploit. It's just way too easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to give them one of each type. Okay, one Petty Soul Gem, one Lesser, one Common. And we'll just keep checking in on them. Uh, one greater and one grand. Yeah, we'll just monitor him. You know, whenever we see him trap a soul, we'll just swap out and give him a, a fresh soul gem. So there we go. So he's got one of each. Common, grand, greater, lesser, and a petty. All right, so he's ready to rock. Uh, that is it. Lead on, then. All right. Let's get your cardio on, Belran. Follow me. Okay, so we're going to ride most of the way up there. Just before we get to the big, long log steps, we'll disembark. That's when it gets dangerous. There's always a predator there. Typically, uh, a snowy saber cat or something like this. But at level 25, it, it could be an ice wraith, which is the worst case scenario. Take that view. Love it. <laughs> Girly alert. Mrs. Slack alert. Oh, what a lovely view. Okay, passing by Doom Hollow Crypt on our left. And let's wait to get uh, Bill Ryan to catch up. There he is. Okay, so there is the long log steps I was talking about. Right about here you want to get off. Okay, and let's get uh, Stormy out there. Pop one out right about there. And see if he engages. No, no, get up there, Stormy. You're on point. You told you a bunny rabbit. No, no, no. It's something else. Get out there again. Huh, I'm really surprised. Here we go. Here we go, I knew it. Okay, this thing is going to be practically impossible to soul trap. I'm going to give it a shot, though. Oh my gosh, she's coming after me. Done it before in a practice round. Got it. Haha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, next. The Lord Stone. Now my team is pretty powerful. Did we kill the bunny? Let me see if I if I increase my bunny slaughtered uh stat. 
No, still, still at two. Yeah, I noticed that my team is pretty powerful. In practice rounds, I wasn't able to trap all the souls of these bandits here, these three bandits. Uh, so I'm gonna have to work quickly. Kind of contemplating whether I should spawn um, the storm matronic or not. Yeah, these things can get out of hand. Okay, here we go. Still not sure if I got her. There we go. That's right, beg for mercy. Got him. And it's one left. Ah, yeah. This is difficult. Okay, one out of three. That's okay. Good job, boy. Good job, boys. Good job. Uh, so here we go. The Lord Stone. Let's accept that because we're going into a lot of combat um, in the next little bit. So, if we cast Iron Flesh and along with the Lord Stone, we now have an armor rating of 250, which is still really subpar for level 25, but um, at least it's some armor. All right, so that's that. Now we want to continue the Book of Love Quest. And this will continue by hooking up with Ruki. Ruki is... Where's that road? Okay, if you're looking for the Dark Brothers Sanctuary, and then there's Lake Ilanato. And you see this fork in the road here? You follow this road up here, and Ruki is right, boom, there. Now, we could put on... The Amulet of Mara. Oh, jeez, I didn't even have this on. Okay. To mark Ruki. But I don't want to have to do that because I don't want to lose the benefits. See, it's right there. Huh? Pardon me, I didn't have the right quest on. There we go. Once again, map. Here you go, see. That's the Jukar Monument. But I want the benefits of uh, my Adept Necklace of Destruction. Okay, So, down to the Dark Brotherhood. We'll use the Custom Marker to guide us for now. And then when we get close, we'll put on the Amulet of Mara. That's the plan. Let's do it. Alright, Team Slack. What time is it? It is 4.45 4 in the a.m. Let's wait a few hours, get some light on the scene, and then make the journey up to Jukar. Ready, Balrand? What's your soul gem situation like? Your battles, I love this guy. <laughs> Do I get to keep it? Ah, just kidding. Forgot to loot the guys Let's at uh, Lordstone. I could still do that. Sorry, my bad. Commentary, no. Okay. Probably all over the, all over the place here. Here we go. And I'm sure one or two of them flew air slack. Let me just take a minute and look around for them. I'll skip ahead. Okay, I can only find two of them. That's okay. No biggie, they just got chump loot on them anyways. Okay, we are ready to rock. Before we take off, let's collect these Nightshade, which is perfect for a destruction mage. Alright. And like I said, we're going to work our way north. Past the lake. 
to Jugar's monument. All right, boys, saddle up, lock and load. Collecting thistle and more tapinella on the way. Don't worry, but if you miss them, it's no biggie. But it will help. Keep casting that uh, iron flesh spell, you never know what's going to come along. Okay, so we came to the fork in the road. We're going to take the left fork, work our way up to Half Moon Mill. Which has a vampire. Whom we can relieve of her soul. <laughs> her everlasting soul. A little bit of more tabanella there. Fairly uneventful journey compared to what was happening in practice rounds. Okay, up goes the uh, flesh again. Half moon mill. What time is it? Huh. No one's around. This is unusual. Really counting on that uh, grand soul here. There she is. Here it. Okay. Nope, you're here for your soul. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. Okay, let me kill her. Because I've got the black soul gem. Out of the way, blue dog. Gotcha. And last witness killed. 40 bounty removed from Falkreath. Very good. Take your stuff. Good job. Good job. Case of beer and all that. Walk this way, Belrand. Over here. Come on, hustle it up. boy. Okay, next. We could, uh, now that we have the key to replace. We can go in. Huh? Steal some stuff. There we go, that'll come in handy. See, she, she seems to enjoy lots of bloody red meat. Suspiciously enough. Okay, we're good. Next. Let me just check my carry weight. Very good. A lot of you have been asking, sir, shield? Yeah. Why don't I give Belrand a shield? Because he won't use it. He, you're not thinking this through. His thing is 
an axe, okay? Or he has a bow, right? But uh, when he carries an axe in one hand, he casts the Conjure Familiar spell in the other hand. So if you give him a shield, he'll only use it for like just a little bit. Then as soon as he casts the Conjure Familiar spell, he'll put away the shield and that's it. That's it. So there's no point giving him a shield because he won't use it. He'll use it for just a tiny little bit until he casts the Conjure Familiar spell, which I call Blue Dog. And in fact, it may even deter him from casting Blue Dog sooner. So yeah, that's why I don't give him a shield. That's, it's not his specialty. His specialty is not blocking. Won't he equip it after he casts Blue Dog? No, he doesn't. After he casts Blue Dog, he will not re-equip the shield. You'd have to, like, after every fight, you'd have to go up to him and take the shield away from him and give it back to him just to have him use it for the little bit of time before he decides to cast Blue Dog. So, really, it's, you know, it's kind of pointless. It's not a specialty. Okay, we got a Saber Cat off to the left here, so we got to get ready for this. Let's get Sparky out there. Okay, Sparky, get on point. What do you see? Okay, here we go. Where is it? There it is. Oh my gosh! No, oh, dude, they get away from me! I swear the god was hopping in for a second. <laughs> Gotcha! Yeah, good job, boys. Good job. Case of beer and all that. Okay. Our custom markers over there. It's the big mud crab pool here. Um, all right. Hand over your valuables, or I will gut you like a fish. A thief, eh? <laughs> you walked into the wrong gang here, buddy. Not only is our speech high that, you know, we're going to, like, convince you to walk away, but we're going to mess you up anyways. Besides, do I look like I have any money? No, I guess not. <laughs> well, get out of here before I change my mind. Yeah, same to you, buddy. Walk on. And just for threatening us. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You walked into the wrong gang, sucker. That's what I'm talking about. Ha uh ha. -huh. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Good job, boys. Job well done. Okay. That's not mud crab pool. There's a pool up here that's got a ton of mud crabs. Probably be best to attempt to soul trap them all. Right away. Did I pass it? Here it is, right here. This could get a little tricky. Check out the giant mud crab, it's so cool. Got one. Got that one? Great! Three for three! Hang on. Probably gonna miss this one. Four 
four for four. And he probably filled up a lesser soul gem with that one. Still. This is wild. I love this. It's like a little cave for them. A neat little cave. Okay. May the gods watch over your battle. I love this guy. I love him. Do I get to keep it? So how'd you do? Ah, just kidding. That's what I thought. You filled filled up a couple of lessers in. Okay, so let's take them all. He filled up a petty. That's good. He's got a grand and a greater. Let's give him a fresh, common petty and lesser. There's common. A lesser. And a petty. There you go, you got a full complement of soul gems. Good job, Belrin. Good job. Where'd that butterfly go? Get that flutter by. Alright. Now, uh Boy, we're really racking them up here. Yeah, I want to drop that. Uh, any soul gem that is filled up with the wrong soul, you can just drop on the ground and it'll empty out the soul. So we'll drop this common, pick it up again, and that lesser that has a petty in it. Here, this guy right here. Drop it. This only works for soul gems that you filled yourself. Obviously, because the game never fills up soul gems with the wrong soul. And there's Jukar's Monument, so let's hook up the Amulet of Mara. And go talk to Ruki. Lots of good ingredients around here. Ricky, what are you doing? I'm searching for my Fenric. He was marching with Yukar's men, who they say were wiped out here. I've turned over every body, though, and I can't find him. Please help me look. He has a bright red beard and hair. Uh, the last battle here was hundreds of years ago. Ah, you a fool! Look at the bodies around you! Even if you're blind, surely you can smell the blood. Come, help me search for Fenrir. Alright, so that's our next next objective. <laughs> you, you just keep looking around, we'll look elsewhere. We'll let you know. We'll send you a text if we find him. Okay, so... He is over this way. Once again, um, let's put a custom marker there so we can get the benefits of our Death Necklace of Destruction. And then when we get close, uh, we'll re-equip that. Leave this right here. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Ready for some more adventures? Yeah. All right, let's go. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, all right? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.